Hey everybody. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep making some videos of stuff I'm working on. And then when I get the internet thing straightened out, I'll post them. And we'll just pick up right where we left off. That's the plan. Uh, this wasn't the plan, uh, starting another project, but, you know, I, I finished up one, I took a little break on one, and I was just farting around, and it kind of took off, and I think it's going to be kind of cool, so I'm working on this now. So, uh, that's, that's what I'm doing. I wanted to get that done, but, uh. This is kind of cool because, you know, I'm a 32 freak and this kit I got from my nephew. He bought some stuff off eBay and this was one uh, AMT 32. It's the one that has, it's a blue box with a burgundy with black fenders, I think. Stock looking 32 on the cover of the box. And somebody had uh, kind of started it. There was a bunch of parts in there. And what was in there was the frame for the Revell 32, the engine block for the Revell 32 5 window, Hemi, and this, this block. I don't know what that's from, but it had that cool dual force setup on there. I couldn't get the manifold the bottom of the manifold off on this one is glued on there too tight but i found one in my parts box so i just started throwing this together and then i've always wanted to do one of these with the big fat meats on the back so i thought what the heck let's fart around with this and see how it works so i got it where it kind of kind of channels down over the frame and you can kind of see in there how it's working looks like it's not quite down oh yeah I guess it's almost it's down pretty close to all the way so anyway I now I found those cool wheels in the parts box because uh, these were the ones that were on them and I didn't like them so those fit in there so then I found some of those that kind of match and some cool little really small I think those are old MPC wide ovals there so you got a nice rake great biggies and little littles which looks really cool let's pop this off and show you what I did I had to do a little bit of trimming and sawing and replacing to get that 32 AMT to fit over the Revell 32 frame but it fit uh, pretty good if I was going stock it, it, you know our not so big meats it would have fit real easy but let's pop this body off here see what we got going first of all the firewall uh, I had to recess the fire wall uh, quite a bit because it was hitting the valve covers to get this up where the tires lined up inside the yeah, the wheel lip there. So what I did is I put the firewall on the inside instead of up up flush on this side. I stuck it up inside and glued it to it, and then and then hogged out the little tranny up there, and it worked out uh, pretty good. So it fits pretty good. And this is the this is the interior part of the interior tub for the Revell kit. I just had to hack off the little teeny package tray back there and bring it down a little bit so the body would sit down on there further so it would get the nice uh, channel look over the frame a little bit better and then I had to take this and cut the stock uh, fender well thingies that were in there cut those out and then the ones that come with the Revell kit for when you want to do a high boy fenderless car those glued up in there and they fit pretty good they lined up on the frame pretty good to get the right look but it had to do a little uh, 
I get the motor out of there. I had to do a little filing on the frame there. Not very realistic. It's kind of thin now. But it'll look alright when it's all painted up. So I could get the so it to fit in with those white meats with the body and stuff. So that's where we're at with that. It's the stock from the kit suspension and everything. Excuse me, so so that's gonna work out pretty good. And the motor, it didn't have valve covers or much of anything with it. So I found these off an old John Force funny car kit from like 30 years ago or so. And I popped them off. I was doing that model pink and white. That's why they're pink. And they fit pretty good on there. So those will work. And I got to thinking, you know, I was going to paint over the pink, but maybe that'll look good pink. Kind of pink with the uh, white lightning over it or something, maybe. Huh? Excuse me. I, uh, I, uh, I have to think about that. I have seen the pink 32 before. Kind of a pearl one. Anyway, and then I found some seats out of the old 57 Chevy by AMT. I think that's what those are from. And they're narrow enough. They uh, fit in on that tub pretty good. And let's see here. I had to, I, There was no grill. And no grill shell. So I found one of those in my parts box. And I brought the notch up a little further. So it sets where I'm at. So it sets down further. So it's more level with the cowl. Then I had to hack off. Uh, I found this radiator. I don't know what it's for, but I narrowed it. I just sanded the sides a little bit so it fits in, inside of here. And I hacked off a little bit of it. So it it would fit up against the, the cross member there. Whoop, and uh, go down far enough. And I found a grill shell that fits in it. So you know, finding parts, everything's going together pretty good. I'm just doing a lot of mock-upping and uh, and uh, reworking and test fitting and making sure uh, I don't get the cart before the horse here before I start painting and and stuff and make everything. I don't have any of that. I guess there's some kind of glue or something you can use out there to kind of tack stuff together and then you can pull it apart. Uh, I don't know. I didn't know that I don't have any of it but so I'm just kind of like using tape once in a while and just kind of winging it but uh, that'll look pretty cool uh, like I said I always wanted to do a big fat meat thing it's gonna have a pretty cool rake on it so that's what I'm working on now like I say if looks like I need another project here but this one's kind of fun kind of neat every once in a while trying to put a bunch of parts together that are don't weren't supposed to go together so anyway that's what I'm doing I'll do some more videos on some stuff I'm gonna do one on the uh, finished panel thing that was chopped and we got the still a ways off I think for the fat fender thing but I'll probably do a video on that when it's done and if I jump on that I'll do some videos on that so when we get hooked up to the intro web there better I'll have some stuff to show you like I say get right back into it full time so anyway thanks guys for hanging around waiting for me thanks for your support I uh, look forward to getting back on here and, and seeing what you guys have been doing so until then everybody take care uh, stay warm stay cool I guess if you're down south somewhere I uh, hope you're not living up above in Buffalo, wherever that is, and got that 40 feet of snow. That's got to suck. But anyway, I'm out of here. Thanks again, subscribers. I appreciate it very much. If you haven't, uh, and you're watching this video or one of my other ones and you like it, uh, hit the subscribe button and the like button and ring the bell and make a comment and all that good stuff. So until the next video... Everybody take care, and we'll talk at you later. Bye.